carrying this line, the Danner work boots, uh, for at least five to seven years now. And we're in my shoe store called If the Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii. Um, I also have a website. The ways to reach me would be at terryedmonds.com. And I have an Amazon button right there on the front page. You can click and it takes you to my Amazon shopping cart. You can also go directly to my Amazon shopping cart at amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Terry Edmonds. And this is what it looks like. <clears throat> I sure do love it. It's really easy. I have my Danner boots are actually listed right on the front page for you. So you could actually click the Danner boots and it gives you a nice uh, assortment of some of my favorites. Today we're doing the best of for the tactical footwear for Danner. And to me, they're my favorites, um, just through all of the people that have bought them and the reviews that I've gotten from my clients. So I'm here to share that with you. So many people are shopping online these days. It's really hard to know um, what the boot feels like, what it fits like. And so I'm here to help guide you through that process. This video will also be available on the replay on my YouTube channel, which is Terry Edmonds as well. So super easy to find me. And at either one of those places, you can comment or send me your questions. You can also reach me on that, uh, terryedmonds.com, and send me an email. All right, so let's get started. I'm really excited to start and share with you. Uh, the first one we're going to be uh, touching on is the Scorch. They came, the Scorch side zip, actually. Uh, they came out with this boot uh, last year, and I think last year, maybe a couple of years ago, but um, I'm going to put it up here. Uh, this boot is super great. I'm going to come a little closer for you guys. So this one, I happen to carry everything in the wide size. So I order my scorches in the double E. And they go all the way down to at least a size 7 in the medium width. And I believe they go up to a size 16. I for sure carry the 15. So, um, of course, really, I think this is just like your... This is probably my number one. It is super versatile. This happens to work for people that are doing security. I have some people that work the airport in this boot. Um, you know, even if you just have that uniform that you have to have that black shoe and you want it waterproof, um, I would go with the Scorch. I always suggest the waterproof. It comes in a dry or a, um, a hot, they call it the hot version and it is uh you know it doesn't have that extra layer of Gore-Tex on the inside but it is all mesh so if you get it wet you're definitely going to get your socks wet and then you're stuck with wet shoes all day so um you know uh, people in the dry weather probably but anyway we're, plus we're going into winter season for some of us most of us um so i just say stick with this uh, scorch uh waterproof Danner invented Gore-Tex. They know how to make a waterproof boot and how to keep it fairly cool for you. Um, they have a lot of moisture wicking techniques and things built into their insoles. Um, so anyway, really great boot. I'll give you a little close up there. Um, this is always, uh, this is a slip resistant and their sole is made for great traction. So if you, you know, find yourself running a lot at your job, <laughs> this is a great boot for you. Um, plus it gives you the durability of a full coverage foot, uh, footwear, you know, which I really like in case you're bumping into things, you know, whatever, you've got a, a rougher than normal job. Uh, some of the other things about this is, um, it is the semi-locking side zip, which is nice when they stay uh, fixed into place. Uh, like I said, it has, um, it has a speed lacing so what's really cool about Danner's lacing system is that you can um, these holes down here the the little um, they're not grommets but um, anyway these little the hardware it holds it really well and they don't slip these laces don't slip so if your foot is extra wide and you need a bit of extra room you need to actually visit, you know, come in here to these lower laces and adjust them first before you come up to the top. So it's just a little trick that I've come across because out here in Hawaii, we have a lot of people with very wide feet. And so I always have to make extra accommodations for that. Um, this actually, uh, 
it's pretty true to size in the sense that it's a great wide fit and it does run true to size in the length so um, you know if you're a seven you can get a seven if you are an 11 wide you can definitely feel comfortable getting the 11 wide um, however you're going to order if you do end up ordering online um, both Amazon and Danner themselves offer a great um, exchange and return policy so um, I love that so this is a really great boot um, what else do we have oh yeah one of the main things and you know what I knew let me grab one so um, as I say kind of like a broken record they make these shoes for, to fit every foot, really. Um, but if you wanna personalize it and you're gonna be in them all day long, I recommend stepping up uh, your purchase with the Power Step Orthotic. Um, it's, from, from what I've seen, and I've been in the shoe industry for over 20 years, um, it's one of the most reasonably priced and the one that has the most support. Um, basically, and I'm you know not just trying to sell the power step, but I'm really trying to guide you. If you have access to another brand that offers a nice firm arch, then go for it. That's basically what I'm trying to encourage you to do is to really keep your arches supported. You know, give your feet the right support that they need, so you can keep going back to work every day. All right, so I love that. This is a great one. And we're going to go ahead and move on next. Um, this, like I said, is the classic. It's the, what, five and a half inch, six inch. And um, if you're still looking for the low profile, um, this is the full bore. Um, I, this, I'm showing it to you in the gunmetal gray. And it's, um, it is, well, let's just read about it together. So water resistant suede and mesh lining. Uh, we got a full grain leather and water resistant mesh. That's what this one is here. So this can be treated with our lotions and it can be, it can be polished, but because you've got this color, I probably would just keep the lotion on it. Um, it has a lightweight cushioning and last lasting durability from their sole. This is a really great sole. <laughs> This, I'm a shoe cobbler and I repair shoes and I resole shoes and I modify shoes for people. And one of the soles that I use is the uh, Vibram and it is their mega grip. <laughs> it's so funny, it's a, it's a really great sole. Uh, the the uh, industry term is the Zagama. That's how it's really, uh, it's the real name of it. But uh, this has, a, this, this sole is really great and grippy. So this to me would be something like if you've got, you know, a lot of inner city terrain, um, low grass, even wet grass, wet surfaces, this uh, Vibram sole is like top notch. Um, Danner does offer a one year warranty against defects. So if something like the hardware came out um, and they were being used in the proper setting, like for, you know, law enforcement or something like that, uh, they back their product. And where I'm going with that is that I don't see a lot of Danners come back um, with the glue separating. And that's a really big thing. It's really hard to find that out in the industry, something that you can really count on. And I definitely feel confident telling my clients, you know, you, you're in good hands. <laughs> Although, you know, I also like to tell people that if you're getting a year or a year and a half out of your work shoes, that's pretty awesome. You want to be sure you change out your insoles so that you've always got the good support. Um, but you know, that's a pretty good investment for however much the boot is, you know, prices always change. Um, but still it's a small investment for your health and your comfort and your overall well-being. Cause if you're happy at the end of the day and you're less stress off your feet, the easier life is. I know that. All right, so let's keep moving. Um, the one that I carried, uh, by, just to mention, the one that I do carry in this in the gunmetal is waterproof. So, also let's also touch base about how to care for this. So, for this boot, I would probably use the cleaner called the Easy Suede Cleaner. I always recommend this cleaner. It's safe on virtually anything. I've never seen it ruin anything, and I've done thousands of projects with it. 
And then again, like I said, because it's a gunmetal, I would go with the leather conditioner. And it's really great for all the leather. You can get it on the threading. It's no big deal. It just keeps everything nice and you know free from mold and things like that and will care for them. And you probably do want to invest a little bit to care for the boot because these soles don't wear out very fast. <laughs> so you're going to have it for a while. And then you also, going into the other color, they have a light tan color that looks like this in the full bore. It's this color. And that one, I would still do a neutral lotion on it. Um, but you could do, if you get the black one and you're really into polishing your boots, um, you could either go with a Lincoln Stain Wax. I recommend this one. It's one of the top of the lines, just like the Shinola brand. Uh, but also, Danner makes their own uh, boot care. And, you know, it's just so easy. And since you're going to be right there on the website, just purchase yourself a, a container of this because it really does, it helps condition them and it also helps prolong the life of them. So it's worth the investment. Wonderful. So that's fun. Okay, great. Uh, someday I'm going to have chat. Someday I'm going to be techy enough to chat with you guys because I really want to know how you guys are doing, if you have any special questions for me. Um, on both of those shoes that we just looked at, I want to be sure to let you know. So the lining is a pretty mild, it's not very thick. So um, I think it's a, oh, I think it's a um, pretty lightweight, like it's not too cumbersome. I have some uh, police officers that buy boots and they don't want something that's too big on uh, under when they're got their foot on the gas. So there's another boot that I'm going to recommend for something like that if you do a lot of driving. All right, so that's really great. Now we are going to move into uh, this next brand or this next style is called the Lookout series and they have a whole bunch of the Lookout. And um, I'm just going to go over these step by step with you guys. Um, the very first one that I'm going to show you is called the Station. This is the Lookout Station. It's a slip-on and it's really intended for exactly that. You're the guy in the office pushing the paper, <laughs> uh, but you still need to be in compliance. So this boot comes with or without a safety toe. The other two that I just showed you do not. The Scorch nor the Full Bore come with a safety toe, but this one does. They this boot is really great so if you find it and it's available and you're kind of on the fence about it I'd say just get it because you can do free returns and I think they do free shipping so uh, it doesn't get much easier than that but my point is is that they um, this boot tends to go in stock and out of stock and it's hard to know you know when they're gonna have your size back so if you do find it and you're curious I'd try it it's a great boot very very wide i mean look at that that toe box is really generous here um it's super comfortable as a matter of fact in this one they have um a broader toe box for a more responsive fit that doesn't surprise me um it is a waterproof which is awesome and um dual density footbed uh, for cushioning and underfoot air circulation it has this um this is one of their um, more regular, um, this is one of their special insoles. I see some chatting and I'm so excited. I just want, hi everybody. <laughs> um, okay, so this is their, uh, it's called dynamic support. It gives you more cushioning. Um, I, you know, this is a pretty, they put this in their heavy duty work boots. So I guess they're imagining a lot of miles put on this shoe. Again, though, even though it has this awesome footbed, um, I would still upgrade and go to an orthotic because this one has the arch support and that's what lets your toes spread properly and um, just relieves the ache. As your arches fall, if you don't have support, it just makes your feet super sore. So, uh, so this is the lookout in the slip-on, okay? Now, the lookout also offers um, <laughs> the side zip. This one's super awesome. You still get the, the low profile and um, it's got safety toe. It's totally waterproof and um, it also has the uh, dynamic support insole in it. 
So, you know, I mean, really in general, it's, they're providing uh, some sh footwear that they're expecting a lot of walking, a lot of, a lot of movement in these shoes all day long. So I can see how they're designing that. I will say on the, the whole lookout, uh, the whole line of the lookout uh, runs fair, I would say pretty true to size, pretty true to size. I think that it's more of a, uh, it's not a, it's a wide, this is a wide, but it's more narrow than, for instance, uh, the, the Scorch. The Scorch is a pretty generous wide footbed up here. So I, I would probably try that one first. And uh, see, this one is part of the Lookout series, but it's super wide and big in the top. I really like that. Um, this one on the side zip, hold on, I'm going to get there because I want to show you guys something here. So um, this one uh, has, like I said, has the safety toe that meets all of the safety requirements. Uh, waterproof liner. Um, they have also has the semi-locking zipper on the side, which is nice. The nylon shank is really nice because it helps relieve foot fatigue. It's just an extra support so that your foot's not bending. I'm guessing, you know, walking up and down curbs and things like that is probably, you know, what they had in mind designing this. Um, yeah, so it has a, it's, they say it has a broader toe box, but I think that I would try this. It has um, a pretty decent lining. It's a little more on the thick side. I'd say thicker than, um, thicker, it feels thicker than the Scorch. So it's got a little bit more support here. Um, but I've, they've had this one around a long time, so I, I know it does well for them. This boot, the way you take care of this boot is again, it's polishable. So you could do, I'd say, go with your boot dressing again. You know, if you really, I haven't tried the Danner boot dressing for getting a spit shine, but you can get a spit shine with the Lincoln stain wax. And then also, <clears throat> I forgot to mention on the other ones, was a really great pair of socks. Danner makes great socks. <laughs> so for something like, <clears throat> if, if it's a, in the line of duty kind of a boot, then I probably would go something like the TFX Drymax sock. It's, um, it's got a flat toe seam on it. It has uh, protective padding, a breathable mesh. I mean, their socks are really amazing. Any version of them are great. Uh, but I know that the dry is really good for, uh, you know, it's wicking uh, match up after laundering and fibers on the skin. So with other socks, you have to wait for wicking and evaporation to work. They use a sweat repelling dry max fibers on the skin and sweat attracting fibers on the outside. It keeps you drier without the weight. Sassy, that is some technology, I tell you. Thank you, Danner, for investing the time. So that's a good one. And then also uh, going into the, uh, this is more of the mid-weight and it's a longer sock. So let's go to the next boot, which is still in the series of the Lookout. And it is the Lookout in the eight inch. So this boot is <clears throat> super nice oil and slip resistant on that sole. Isn't that nice? It's got the uh, locking side zip, so it makes it so much easier to get in and out of your boots, maybe in a hurry, you know? Um, again, it's got the really nice hardware so that once it's adjusted, it doesn't get all loose and wonky on you. Um, it's really just up here that you start, that you tighten it if you need to. Once it's adjusted for your foot, there we go, just put zip right on into it. So super easy. I happen to install zippers in my cobbler shop. I do that for people who have a hard time getting their foot in. Usually we have to put in a zipper. And I have to say Danner does a really great job. And this boot is still waterproof. So I love that about it. Um, it's a really lightweight boot. This boot happens to run 53 ounces. With This one's without the safety toe, but it comes with the safety toe. And this one is um, in the eight inch, it's 56 ounces, which is pretty light. I mean, it's of all these boots, it's actually, it feels almost as light as this station. 
So um, again, this is totally treatable. Now this boot here has got a little bit more of this nylon on it. I think what I would do, um, especially nowadays for sanitation, um, I would probably clean your boots. You know, um, I, I do a series of ultraviolet and um, ozone treatments when I get products into the store for repair. They sit overnight in the ozone box and get treated and sanitized. And I recommend that for, especially for people that are in the, uh, any, any type of uh, law enforcement or what have you, if you know, actually anybody, I love it. It's great, just put it in a box. And I'm doing a video for that on Amazon Live. It'll probably be by the end of the month. So just keep an eye out there. You can see um, when you go to my Amazon cart at the very bottom, let's go back. Yeah, here we go. At the very bottom of the Amazon page, my Amazon page are all of my videos that I've done for you guys. So it'll list all of the different past live streams and you'll be able to check that out. So, all right, so there we go. And uh, treating this, taking care of this. So let, let's say you've, if you ultraviolet or not, this is called the Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. And I use this on everything. Um, I don't know why they specifically say suede because it actually cleans anything, doesn't damage it. So I would clean the boot first and then uh, you don't even have to let it dry. This stuff dries so fast. And then I'd go ahead and probably do my leather lotion on it and I would condition all of the leather, even the threads, it keeps them nice and pliable, the leather, because this is a full grain leather. This is a beautiful boot. Polishable leather upper. And it's got this rip stop ballistic nylon. How awesome is that? So like, it's really hard to put rips in these boots. So that's really very cool. So you've got your conditioner and then I would go ahead and just go with the black boot dressing from Danner. And this is so easy to put on and just rub it on and, and you can polish it off, buff it off, whatever your choice is. So that's really great. All right, so this has been the whole, oh, there's one more in the series of the Lookout and that is the EMS side zip. This boot is specifically Okay, so let me, I'm gonna read it for you guys. Um, again, it has all the same features, the big toe box, responsive fit, it's got a shank, um, but this one actually has a puncture resistant midsole and it has this special dry waterproof liner that has been tested for body fluid borne pathogen resistance. So basically it's meant for an EMS and even police, but I sell a different one to the police that I'll show you in a minute. So it has all of the differences between this boot and the plane is, it's really, you can't see it with your eye. It's in the lining. And um, this one does offer the safety toe. And I think you have to have the safety toe for those guys. So there you go. It's a 66 ounce boot, kind of heavy. Um, but if I had to wear a boot, this would be all right, especially if it met all those requirements for me. It's got a medium weight, like a, on a scale of one to five, five being the thickest of the liners. This is about a three, <clears throat> so it's not too bad. Love it. Zippers work. It's got the locking top of the zipper. We love that. <clears throat> okay, so now this is probably uh, one of my favorites. It is, this I said was my best seller. The Scorch was my best seller all around. There, so you guys can see a little better. So the Scorch is my number one. This would be my number two. And this is called the Tachyon. And look at that streamlined profile. Wow, that is so awesome. So I sell this to law enforcement and specifically uh, the guys that drive a lot during the day, you know, um, <clears throat> they've told me they really love the flexibility when they're on a gas pedal and around that area, around the pedals, it doesn't get in the way, it's not too bulky. Um, it does take some work to get into it, you know. Um, I order this one in the waterproof. They offer it without the waterproof, but I, I just don't think that the waterproof makes it that much hotter. So why not have that protection if it's a rainy day? I mean, geez. And it's so lightweight. I mean, it's just got this nylon. Actually, I'll read you the, uh, the deets on it. All right.
right, so Gore-Tex waterproof, breathable lining and a polishable toe. Yeah, gotta love that. Um, speed lacing system for a secure enhanced fit. That's that one you can, once you get your foot in, you just pull the laces and it just goes, sucks right up. You know, you just, it's a nice fit. Uh, they also make this in the light color. So uh, it's pretty sassy. But I, I'm selling this more to the municipalities. So I'm going with the black, waterproof, polishable. And um, EVA cushioning shock bed, absorbing midsole. It's got the nylon shank. The, um, this outsole is called the Pentagon Love Lug. And it's for superior ground contact. So this is kind of an interesting pattern. I don't usually see that, any type like that except for unless it's on like a sporting, uh, like a hiking shoe or something like that. Um, but uh, I can see it's got the low profile, so it won't hold too much dirt. Um, and again, you know, really just makes for a real flexible design. Okay, so I love that. How would I care for that? Again, I'd probably wash it because it's got a lot of this nylon. What is the nylon? This is, I just, <laughs> I uh, don't see where it says exactly, but I'm sure it's just a nylon um, and it's really thin. So on a scale of one to five, five being the most, this lining is like a one or a two. I'd say a two. And so it's real thin. Gosh, it's so light. This is only 26 ounces. Isn't that awesome? So what a great boot. How would I care for it? I would clean it with the e Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. And I would also do my leather lotion on it to condition the leather and just the leather doesn't go on the nylon and you are able to polish it. Okay. <clears throat> and again, to make this shoe absolutely perfect for you, add an arch support. Okay. Take the old one out and put the new one in and you're going to be ready to go. The, the orthotic will probably last as long as the boot does. So it's a great investment. Also, this would be a good time to either wear like uh, the midweight uniform sock is nice for the condition, cu the cushioning. It's got a hole. It's just so, so soft. It's hard to explain. It's like walking on a layer. <laughs> so it really adds a lot of cushion to the shoe. Um, also, since you're going, if, so, if you're deciding, you know, to go with this boot, I probably would pick the Dry Max hot weather sock because it's, it's just so much lighter. It's so much more thin. So I like that about it. I like wearing thinner socks in my boots. So awesome, that's the Tachyon. Now, as I mentioned, uh, the Tachyon does come in this color, but I actually sell um, this boot. It's called the Tannicus. And um, it's a really great boot. They used to make this boot um, in the sage green with a side zip. And so I'm always watching to see if they come back with that again, because it's a really, it's so fun to be able to just get in and out of your boot. But the Tannicus is nice. And it's also so versatile. I have been using this to, um, I've also been selling this to the gals because um, it's always in stock. It, you can, it comes in really small sizes because it's meant for the military. And so they're trying to, you know, uh, shoe a lot of people and so it's a good <clears throat> good general fit for most everybody and the ladies can go down I think it goes down to a size three let's check it out <clears throat> let's see here uh, uh, uh. yeah so that tachyon is pretty cool too let's see the tannicus they offer a lot of different varieties that are all they're they're so similar I've kind of narrowed it down to the Tannicus meets all your needs, especially if you like this color. So this Tannicus is, it goes down to size three in a men's, which is a five in a ladies. So if you're really struggling to get a small, if you're trying to get any size in a woman's and you want it a little bit wider, then go with the men's and convert two sizes. So the men's would be two sizes. Um, if, if I'm a nine, I would get a men's seven. And I actually buy the men's boots because they're wider for my big white foot. <laughs> if you have a white foot, I totally understand. I get you. And again, um, like I said, they make these for everybody. 
put in your uh, power step orthotic to it and it's a game changer. I'm actually, I've currently been selling this to uh, some of my clients that work in the forestry and their back country, the girls. So where they are, it's kind of wet. And this is waterproof, of course, because uh, almost every boot I bring in is waterproof. And they offer it in the non-waterproof. Uh, this boot is a suede upper, so it's not polishable. Uh, you can clean it. I think what I would do to this first, though, if I bought it, is I would treat it with a Scotch Guard or a waterproofing, and Danner makes that. So I didn't bring a sample of it for you to look at today, but um, you can either spray it on, which is easiest, um, and then there's another one that has the a dauber, but I would do the spray. Then I think what I would do is, um, especially a lot of people that are in the doing preservation and wildlife preservation, they can't track uh, seeds from one environment to another. It's, you know, creates this invasive species problem. So, um, so cleaning it, you can hose the bottoms, that's easy. But for the tops, I actually like to use the uh, Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. What's fun about this product, because you shake it up, it has all these little uh, uh, stuff inside that is actually, it's like little crystals that actually help lift any dirt or mold spores up to the surface. So I dedicate a little dish to this. I have a ton of videos on how to use this product. So check out my YouTube channel. But basically you're just scrubbing it on, creating the suds and wiping the suds off. And then you let the boot dry depending on how dirty it is, it usually only takes me one application. Um, then you let it dry and then you kind of rough up the material and you can spray it again with your Scotch Guard if that's what you want to do. Some people just work the heck out of these and get them super dirty. <laughs> so if that's the case, they last a long time. They'll be great for you. They're really comfortable. The toe box to me is on a scale of one to five, it's at least a four pretty generally across the board. I can almost fit anybody in them. So that's really great. And I just wanna check the time because we do have just a couple minutes extra. And I wanted to show you some, it's not their um, military or tactical line, but it is for the firemen and women. Uh, my niece is a firewoman and she's awesome. So uh, <clears throat> this is the real classic. I mean, if, if you're in the industry, you'll look at this and be like, oh yeah, I know that boot. And it's heavy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's super classic. It, this actually looks like a logger, but it's a fire boot. And it meets all of these specifications that they have to have, uh, like blood pathogen and stuff like that. Um, but this boot is awesome because it's a stitch down. And stitch down is repairable. Um, it's just, this has so many layers of the leather. I, this is a, one of their higher priced items, but it's sort of a classic. I have some customers that collect their boots. I've seen their boot collection and they may be all crinkled and worn, but they love them. This would be one of those. It's a keeper. Um, something that I didn't mention in the tactical gear is they, they do make a bunch of stitch down boots like this, but with the flat sole and um, like the patrol is a really popular one, but I don't carry them. They're just a little too heavy for my clientele, but I do have a client that just comes in and orders that boot from me because he loves that boot. Um, but I don't because I think that most of my clients need the light, um, the lightweight, comfortable, all day long wearing boot and you know, maybe replace them once a year. Sometimes it's allowed in your budget. So, you know, I, that's what I'd recommend. And then maybe go this route, the heavier duty route, when you're ready to just kind of add something to the collection and use for special, special times. So uh, this is the first fire boot. And the next one that they came out with, which I believe now it might be going on the second year, but it's this one here. This is the Wildland Tactical Firefighter Boot. And I have both versions. I have the, uh, the um, full grain leather, which is polishable. 
And to me, that is the number one reason why I promote this boot to the fire department because you can polish it. They still have this, you know, well, I've had some buy this one, which is the suede. But the suede, of course, it gets dirty. You can't polish it. You can clean it, but you can't polish it. And I think working around the heat and everything that it would just be nicer to have the polishable full grain leather. So I offer both, but I sell more of the polishable leather. This liner on a scale of one to five is like a five. It's pretty thick. Um, it's a heavy duty boot. It's not, you know, of course it's not as heavy as that stitch down one, but uh, it's still heavy. It's like wearing a ski boot. I mean, it actually looks like a ski boot. <laughs> But one of the nice things, uh, like the crew that buys these, there we've had a couple of fires on Maui over the last couple summers, and you know they're in all kinds of terrain. We've got the rocky terrain, we've got the sandy terrain, and um, you know these guys have just been awesome working in these boots. And so they also, my clients also have white feet, and these boots seem to fit them really well. So I like that. Um, and again, I would change the liners, change out to your orthotic. Although you're not in these all day, every day, so that wouldn't really matter. You wouldn't have to do that. Okay, so for cleaning, um, both of them have some version of a suede or a nubuck. So on those areas, you just want to clean it with a cleaner. And again, link an easy suede cleaner. Clean that. You can clean the whole boot with this. And then your second step, of course, is to do the Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion. And that would go on everything else. This boot is not repairable and um, it's still, I'd rather have this boot and have it not be repairable than buy one that has the stitch down because they're just so heavy, oh my gosh. And once they come unglued, it's really hard to get them to stay again. It's nice to have the Danner's original technology. They're, they're fused together. They are so hard to get apart. I don't like to repair them. Uh, but you know, if I'm spending the money, I'd rather go with a company that's gonna offer me some self-assurance, you know, some assurance when I'm out there. All right, so there we go. That is pretty much the whole line today. We've covered socks for you. We've covered the orthotics. We've covered product. And again, I just really look forward to getting a chat with you guys. If you wanna follow my Amazon Live, uh, click the follow button. If you wanna follow me on YouTube, click that button. Uh, anyway, I just really appreciate you guys supporting me and watching my channel and sending in your comments and uh, just have to say thank you, thank you, thank you.